Hey, hey, y'all. <laughs> you know it has to be something significant to bring me out the woodwork. Child, let me tell you something. I know. It's been a difficult past two days. It's been a rough past couple of days, right? Um, all of our anxiety, stress, panic, all of our worst nightmares for some for some of us, for many of us, came true, right? Um, we can't believe the state of our country for many of us. Um, but let me tell you something, Black people, especially Black women, because we've been the most consistent. And Black men, I'll give it to y'all too, because only 20% of y'all voted for Trump. But in the words of my husband, that 20% need their ass whooped. He said it, not me. Take it up with him. But um, we've done the work. We did everything we needed to do to protect our civil liberties. We knocked on doors. We rang doorbells. We had uh, social media campaigns. We supported the campaign. Win with Black women. We did everything we needed to do to get the right person elected to the highest role in the land. She was overqualified. She is the most qualified. But yet because she is black and because she is a black Southeast Asian woman and because she's a woman, racism and misogyny are one. And that's just what it is. Overwhelmingly, people voted for a tyrant and I will not say his name. He doesn't deserve for me to even acknowledge him, yet alone say his name. They voted for a supremacist and they voted for a dictator. And our community, especially when it comes to voting, has always been consistent. And one thing that black people know how to do, and it's unique to us and we do it well, is we know how to organize, strategize, and execute. And other communities don't know how to do that effectively. And so they look to us to help with their issues. And just like old loyal dogs, we do it, right? In the spirit of community. But moving forward, especially for these next four years and possibly beyond, because we may not even be able to have a general election come 2028, especially if this demon overturns the Constitution. And they're not above it. That cult is not above it because that's exactly what they are. They're a cult. But if we have the ability and our civil liberties are still in place and we're able to vote in 2028, There's a lot of strategizing and reorganizing that's going to need to be done. But one, we have to put ourselves first, right? Because the work is not going to be done today. It is not going to be done tomorrow, but there is work that needs to be done. And we have to close ranks. We have to lock arms, especially those of us who are part of organizations. I don't care if it's a community organization, a service organization. I don't care if it's a D9 organization, an advocacy organization. Our black organizations, NAACP, okay? NCBW, NCNW, all of the D9 sororities and fraternities, all of our organizations. I'm not even naming even, I'm not even naming a third of them. Okay. We have to lock arms and close ranks. We have a community to protect, to serve, and to advocate for. And they've always needed us, but they will need us now more than ever. This is what we signed up for. As people and organizations, we signed up for this. And yes, we need to take time to decompress. We need to take time to, you know, think and grieve this loss. But if we are in an organization, we have to protect our community. We have to protect our children because they don't deserve this. And we knew that, okay? We know that. That's why we voted the way that we did. But here we are and we have to move and plan accordingly. Other communities always call on us for help and support and we do it. And then they show us that they A, don't vote in our best interest and B, they use us and discard us like we're yesterday's trash. And gone are the days. Gone are the days. It's time for us to focus on thyself it's as individuals. And if you are not someone who wants to participate in community, that's fine. I'm not forcing you to. Lord knows I'm not telling you to do anything. But for those who are like me, who, who we do participate in community and we are in organizations, then we have to heal, practice healing, and we have to hit the ground running. Not now. I'm not saying today. Please do not mistake me. But there is going to be work that needs to be done. And we need all of our top Avengers to come to the front of the line. 
There are a lot of civil liberties that are going to be stripped. There are a lot of changes that some of us have never seen in our life take place. And we're going to need power from our ancestors and from deep within our spirits to fight. It is not going to be an easy fight. It is going to be difficult. I would be lying to you if I said that I was not worried. I am worried, very worried. I am highly concerned. But one thing I'm not gonna do, I may feel down, but I'm definitely not out. I'm a black woman, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm a black woman, that's my superpower, okay? But it is not on us. Do not feel guilty, we did everything. We did everything and so did VP Harris. There is no criticism I have of her. I have criticism for some, for some other people, but not her. With less than 100 days, look what she did. That is the power of black women. And we voted like our lives depended on it because they absolutely do. Unfortunately, we live in a country that absolutely hates anything that is not white, that is not Protestant, and that is not male. And that is where we're at. Right. I think before it was bubbling, it was at the surface or people saw it that way. And now it's bubbled over. I've never had faith in our government and justice system, but I think there was a little something there, right? Like a mustard seed, like, well, you know, this person's in office or that person's a congresswoman or blah, blah, blah. But now there's a complete distrust. And for many people, it's always been that way. It's always been that way. But us as a community, we can't trust others. In mass, other communities do not support us. I'm not talking about um, outliers. I'm not talking about one-offs, right? Oh, my my best friend from college, you know, she, she's Latina and I'm not talking about her, right? But in mass, other groups do not support us. But in mass, they always want our help with something. They always need our dollars for something. We have the power to change this around. We absolutely do. It does not feel like it now, but we absolutely, a thousand percent do. And I think of Shirley Chisholm. I think of Ida B. Wells. I think of Mary McLeod Bethune. I think of so many women, so many black women. I think of so many others in our communities that fought. And, un and, and, and unfortunately, right, not today, not right now, we will have to do the same. Because I'm not taking this shit lying down and neither should you. But today, your focus should be on rest. It should be on, it should be to reset. It should be to focus on you and your families because that is of top importance. Then for those of us who do want to involve ourselves with our community, we also have to think about our community. Again, not today, but we are going to have to organize, strategize and execute and we will get it done. It will not be easy. The road ahead, it is treacherous. And I don't wanna to lie to you about that. But at the end of the day, and I wanna reiterate what a lot of people are saying is that we do have to find joy. You cannot lead a life of anxiety and stress for the next four years. It will not, it will not help you. It will not be advantageous to you and your children or your mom, your dad. It is not going to help you. That's why I'm saying take the time. Take the time out. Call your therapist, right? But we will need we will need our core strength. <laughs> We're going to need our core strength for this one, y'all. We are. And it's okay. It's going to be okay. It is going to be okay. It will be. It will be. And this is not the last we've seen of VP Harris. Hell, I told President Biden to go ahead and step down and let me have my black woman president. Okay? All he has to do is say, I'm tired and step down. Just let me have it for a month. Okay? I know that's not going to happen because... Let me not say what I want to say. I know that's not going to happen, but I just wish he would because she deserves it. We deserved it. We deserve it. But it's that's just wishful thinking, right? And it, that's just delusions of grandeur. But um, this burden is not ours to carry. It's not. I saw some white lady post on Twitter about, oh, um, we have a woman's march. I won't be there, baby. Good night. We, we've done all the marching. We've done all the protesting. We've knocked on doors. We've done all the strategizing and organizing. Baby, we're done. At least for y'all, we're done. <laughs> we're
we're done. You all don't listen to us. You all don't listen to nobody. In the words of my father, and God may and may God rest his soul, a hard head makes for a soft ass. And y'all's ass is about to be real soft for the next four years and beyond. This is not on us. We've done everything we needed to do, but y'all do not listen to black women. I don't know if you think it's a game. Uh, part of me, well, not part of me. I actually believe that you don't listen to us because you think we're, that we're stupid and we're not good enough. We don't know what we're talking about. When time after time again, we have shown you that we are indeed the geniuses. <laughs> we are indeed the prophets. We are indeed the light and the way, and you don't, and you don't acknowledge that. So now you're on your own. Now you're on your own. Good luck. It's been a fun ride for you all, but we have to close ranks and we have to think about helping ourselves internally. That external assistance that we give everyone, at least my opinion, it has to come to an immediate halt. Because when it was time for them to vote like it, they did not. And also to my youth, to my Gen Z, this is a difficult period for you all because the majority of your lives are spent on social media. And so you all think that everyone is cool and everyone, you know, I'm just going off vibes. And I've watched you all, especially on TikTok, learn that certain creators, that one white girl that dances uh, to black songs, so she loves to dance to the dip, can't stand her. Um, Mama Todd and some others, you've learned that these white women actually do not like you and that these are characters they're playing, right? Because everyone on social media with a personality, they're playing characters, Gen Z. Please listen to me. If you've never listened to me before, listen to me. These are, the, it's not real, right? What did Jamie Foxx say in his uh special? What was it called? I might need security. This is not really real, okay? This is an act for money so that they don't have to go and have a W-2 job. <laughs> you cannot fall for shenanigans. And also, Gen Z, learn to question everything you see, whether it's in the media or social media. Just because someone seems like a good person doesn't mean they are. Yes, you should not be shocked that these creators actually voted against your interests. Why would they vote for you and their white women? How are you shocked you're shocked because you go off vibes. Oh, they're cool. And they had, they said they were going to eat in silence and hold space together. And they said they're going to, you know, they, they love. No, they don't. They don't love you. They don't know you. They don't care about you. They love you. They only say that so that you could drop some in their cash app. You need to wake up, Gen Z. And also wake up that you all are not as progressive as you all thought as a generation. Right? You're not as, I've seen the Don Lemon interviews walking up to white girls that look like they just turned 18, 19. Oh, I voted for Trump. <laughs> Vibes. <laughs> yeah, they vote for Trump because their mamas and daddies voting for Trump and their grandparents voting for Trump. And then also, let's dig in this conversation of, oh, I, regardless of who you voted for, we can still be, no, we cannot. We cannot be friends. We cannot be family. It is what it is. When people show you that they want to strip you of your civil liberties and rights, you don't, you don't bestow the honor upon them to still have access to you. That is crazy as hell. And the reason why a lot of black people, not a lot, but the reason why there are some black people saying that is because they have friends that are of different races that they know voted for Trump. Oh, but we're still friends. Say that. Are you going to be still friends in four years when you can't vote? Are you going to still be friends in four years when you don't have access to health care? Are you going to still be friends in four years and they start deporting your family? Hmm? Because whatever's coming down the pipeline is not going to impact them. So yeah, they get to vote however they want to or not to. Because their civil liberties, some of them are not on the line, but yours are and you're going to sit there like a fool with a Cheshire cat grin across your face and say, we can still be friends. No, we cannot. We are not friends. We are mortal enemies. That's why I draw my line in the sand at my ethics, my morals, and my values are never up for sale. I, I am uncompromised when it comes to those things. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just ran. <laughs> I looked at the time. I was like, God damn, 14 minutes. Shit. <laughs> my bad, y'all. But we gonna be all right. We gonna be all right because we have to be. We absolutely just have to be. And in this moment, take your rest and reset and get your shit together. Save your money. Do whatever you need to do. 
Don't let anyone tell you, oh, you still uh, thinking about the election? Yes. But listen, a hard head makes for a soft ass. When these people can't afford their homes, when their social security disappears, do tell them not to call you. You've done everything and that's all you can do. Okay, I'm going to stop repeating myself so y'all have a good day. I know I took off from work over the past couple of days. Rest, reset, and de-stress. Everything will be okay. It's going to have to be. And in the meantime, find joy. You want to, yesterday I was watching YouTube videos. I, matter of fact, Erica De Niro is on right now. I got her on mute, but um, I got on mute because I'm filming a video. But I was watching mukbangs and everything else. I did not look at any type of news. I did not want to hear it. I don't want, I don't want anybody else to come and, and, and punch down on us. I'm sick of that because VP Harris did the damn thing and she deserved this. We deserved a president like her. And it's just disgusting. Let me stop. I'm, I'm about to go into full blown rant. I'm trying not to do that here on YouTube, but, um, that we, we were deserving of so much more. And instead we got scraps. We got trash. We got the trash and people who are trash, people who don't care about nobody, but they damn selves. And you know what? But this is what America wanted. Y'all want this shit? Y'all can have it because this is the end of what they call an empire. Literally, when they go back in the history books, if we even have history books in 20 years. When, what, when did America fall? 2016. <laughs> 2016 and baby let me tell you something don't let don't let these republicans fool you and say oh no i'm a republican i'm not maga republicans played the long game this is not something that happened overnight this was years in the making before obama was elected before bill clinton was elected this was years in the making and they slowly but surely inched to where they are now this man has the senate i'm sorry this demon has the senate he may potentially have the House and then he is going to have a stacked Supreme Court. And unfortunately for us, Supreme Court terms, they, it, there is no term. It is a lifetime appointment. And something you also need to learn about the Supreme Court is you do not have to be a lawyer. You do not have to have a license. You do not have to practice law to be a part of the Supreme Court. Just like Trump, I messed around and said his name, just like that filth did the first time around, he stacked those federal appointments, which is why every time something go through, then it gets reversed. Then it goes through. Then it gets reversed because of that. What do you think is going to happen now? You think the, you thought those federal judges were bad. You think they're bad now? Just wait until he gets done. A lot of work needs to be done. A lot of work on both sides, on the spiritual side and this realm, this earthly realm. But baby, we're going to get it done. It's just going to be difficult. So I'm going to stop ranting. It's 18 minutes. Um, somebody had asked me, was I going to review Potomac? <sighs> Since I'm off today, I might give y'all a little something, something. It's not going to be a review like scene by scene, but just my thoughts thus far. Okay. Hopefully my internet will allow me to upload these videos quickly. But yeah, you all reset, relax. I love y'all. I, re I really mean that. We can't be full of anxiety for the next four years. We cannot. So do what you need to do to work through it. And it's not going to be an overnight process, okay? Okay, breathe in and breathe out. And do that more times than you think you need. Get you some emotional support food. I had some, I had some emotional support wings yesterday. <laughs> I saw somebody on Twitter say, I need some emotional support wings. And I stole their idea, girl. So I went and got me some emotional support wings. Get you an emotional support margarita. Get you some emotional support edibles. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do edibles or nothing like that, y'all. Uh, my, my worst vice is probably food. And I, I really haven't even been drinking alcohol like that, honestly. Like, no, I haven't. So do what you need to do to reset we gonna be all right we we, we are literally all we got <laughs> literally we are so um find some joy find some laughter look at some stupid silly stuff on tv and um yeah we're moving towards the holidays <laughs> happy holidays <laughs> all right y'all for real talk to y'all later y'all may see a video about potomac okay all right talk to y'all later Mwah.